All right, welcome back to the innovation stage. I hope you're having an amazing time so far. Our next speaker is Blair Newman. He is the Chief Technology Officer at Newton AI. Please join me in welcoming Blair to our virtual stage. Hello, Patrika. Thank you for um, introducing me. And once again, I'd just like to extend a brief thanks to everyone for allowing us the opportunity to share with you guys our solution, uh, Newton.ai. So I will just start at the moment by sharing my screen and we'll go from there. So once again, Newton.ai, our focus is really on enabling artificial intelligence, but specifically machine learning to everyone. And hopefully I can share with you guys in just a few brief moments how we're able to accomplish this. So starting first, number one, as an overview, when you begin to consider our platform, there's three really key areas that we're focused on. Number one, we offer a solution that has zero coding. Number two, we offer a solution that doesn't require any technical skills. And number three, it doesn't require the experience as it relates to data scientists. So this is an area that we're extremely excited about. This is an area where we believe we are enabling a number of our customers to be extremely successful without requiring the three different items that I just mentioned today. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a specific use case, number one, around churn prevention. Churn prevention, I like to really encourage all of you guys to really think about. What are the possibilities if you're able to identify if whether or not a customer is at risk? But more importantly, what are the possibilities that your organization has if you're able to then drive additional growth when you identify those customers that are, that are at risk? I like to stray away from the word easy, but our solution, I like to say, is very simple. It's a three-step workflow that you have to go through in order to produce the predictive models in order to retain the results. Number one, you upload your data, historical data. After that, you just kind of sit back and relax. We do everything else in the background, which I'll show you in a moment. After that, once the model is trained, then you're able to realize your results and receive the value that not only our platform is able to provide you, but also the uh, results and outcome that your organization is able to achieve by leveraging machine learning. Now, when it comes to churn prevention, there's obviously a couple of key areas that we wanna identify for you as well. You train the model, you predict if a customer is at risk, but now more importantly, you wanna to begin to understand what are the reasons why a customer is at risk. And once you begin to identify that a customer is at risk. One of the things that we enable our customers to do is we enable them to have a life cycle management tool via our explainability office that allows for you to begin to identify if the model that you're leveraging at this particular time is at risk. Our explainability office consists of what we like to say the four W's and we encourage you to consider that not only with our platform but any other tool that you're using. Do you understand what does your data consist of? Do you understand what are the most important features in your data set? Do you understand why your model is making the predictions that they are making? And then number four, as I mentioned, do you understand when you should reconsider training your model? And that's something that I'll show you here in just a moment. So we'll head now into the demo stage. I'll move over to our platform. As you can see, we have a 100% SaaS-based solution. You don't have to download anything. So when you begin to leverage our platform, you just simply just click Add Solution. At this particular point, you can type in a solution name, and I'll just call it AI4, churn. At this point, I click Next. Now I enter our workflow. You can see that it's three different steps. You have a couple of different options. You just drag and drop your data into our platform. That's all you need to do. But in this particular case, I will scroll down and I will select the data set that is associated with what we're discussing today, which is related to churn prevention. So here I select my training data set. I click OK. 
Once I click OK, I then scroll down. I'm looking to identify which customers have churned. I click Next. Now I've entered the second phase of our workflow. Only thing you have to do next is click Start Training. That's it. We automate everything else from there. Now, because we're trying to just move fairly quickly to give you guys some insight to our platform, let's move to a solution that is completing training, completed training already. So I'll click my solutions. You can see that it's a platform that you're able to navigate fairly quickly. You go to here, you click solution details, and now we're in a prediction tab. And once we're in the prediction tab, now we can have an opportunity to share with you our lifecycle management tool, or our explainability office. Now, once the training completes, you would typically click a button right here that says enable. As you can see, the solution is already enabled. Here, at this point, you would click start for web predictions. We do make available for our customers to do other types of predictions. So if you like, you can do predictions via REST API, where you can query the model remotely, or you can download the model locally and integrate it into your ecosystem. If you want, starting with one of our first tools, you can take a look at the feature importance matrix. Now the feature importance matrix gives you the top 10 features that are influencing your individual predictions as it relates to your model. You also have the opportunity, if you like, to go to the bottom 10 features, which features are not influencing your individual predictions. But now we'll move fairly quickly into the prediction phase. Now that we have an understanding which features are influencing our predictions, we'll head over here. You would just normally click start, upload your data. But in this particular case, I've already ran some predictions that I'll share with you guys already. So I'll click on here. And here you can see the various predictions that we made for this particular model. Here you can see obviously um, that we've identified if whether or not a customer has churned. Zero means they haven't churned, one means they have. We also provide to you what's the probability of churn. So once again, this is an area where you can begin to look at what is the probability of something occurring. But now, more importantly, which I'm extremely excited about, is to share with you how to determine which features are not only influencing your individual predictions, but more importantly, how can you dynamically change the value of those features to see how they may influence your individual predictions. So one of the things that we do is we give you the top 10 features that are influencing your predictions. And let's go here as an example. We take a look at age. We can see here that in this particular case, on this prediction, someone is 32 years old. They have a 51% chance of, let's say in this particular case, of churning. But more importantly, you can change the value of this feature to see how it may influence it, your individual prediction. Now, why is this important? You can also use this particular tool to identify the sweet spot of an area or a demographic within your customer base that you would wanna focus on. Here's another area, very quickly, as we just kind of go through, what is the balance that someone has on their specific account? And if whether or not you changed it. So if you wanted to change this value, you can. And if you want this value to stick, so now we go from zero to one, you can see here, we originally start off where a customer is at zero, but now we wanted to go to one, you just click on it right here. And when you click on it, in this particular case, you can see how it influences your individual prediction. And then lastly, I'm gonna just kind of go back really quick. As I go back, you can see the life cycle management tool that I mentioned to you before. I'll just click one more time. And as I go back one more time, you can see, you'll see this dashboard. You'll see, this is the dashboard that you would use to identify if whether or not your model needed to be retrained. You can say in this particular case, 98%, everything is good. If, if or as your model began to degrade, you would see that this percentage goes down. The leaves on the tree would change colors and fall off. That would be your visual indicator. 
that you need to retrain your model. And that's something that our platform really assists you in along the way. So as we begin to wrap up, because I know that we have just a, a couple of more minutes, I'll just kind of briefly go to the presentation. Now, our solution is, as I like to say, vertical agnostic. We don't give our solution to any particular market. So whether you're in a retail space, finance, healthcare, insurance, manufacturing, you can leverage Newton in order to take advantage of the benefits that you've seen today. So as I wrap up, I'd like to thank, once again, all of you guys for joining me, joining us here at AI4, and I look forward to the opportunity to having to be able to discuss with you some of the challenges that you may have and once again, thank you very much. And I look forward to speaking to you. Wow, Blair, that was awesome. Thank you so much for sharing with us today. We really appreciate this in-depth look at your platform. And I know this audience is giving you a huge virtual round of applause. <laughs> if you could stop sharing your screen, it's time for the audience to make their way to their next session. All right, so head to your next session and along the way, make sure you accept your connection request and take some time to check out our amazing exhibits. Thanks so much and we'll see you around.